Right, so we've got our text, but what I've noticed is there's a little bit of kind of weird intersecting going on. And you guys might not have this. Um, this is chances are it's just because of the font that I've used. But if you do, there's a way we can fix this. So we don't want this to overlap because when we extrude it, our kind of like our extrude and our polygons are going to be kind of intersecting, which isn't something that we want to do. So, you know, we could uh, we can change the horizontal spacing so we could like, you know, change that until until that's separate. But the problem is now there's like a bigger gap between the other letters than there is between the A and the X. So that's not really going to work. But there's another way we can do it. We have this kerning option inside of the text spline. And if I just check this button here, so we're just down here, we check that, we can see we have all of our individual letters and this kind of strange little uh, GUI. What I can do now, I can actually click my X and I can pull it along. And so it's not affecting anything else, but now we don't have that intersecting uh, occurring. So that is a, that is a great little, a great little trick if you're using a font that maybe kind of has not come in as well.